Okay, well, we're into a new day. It's 12.09 a.m. It's Sunday. It is Sunday the 26th of March, 2017. And I have another whiskey here in front of me. This is a Scotch whiskey. It is a... I think it's a space side. Let me see. Um, I think it is a space side. Yeah. It's from a, a small distillery called Altimore. I don't know all that much about it, but I know that I picked up this bottle a month ago, and when I saw it on the shelf, it was something that I had not seen before. So I'm going to have a little look at it. I'm going to have to turn the light on a little bit brighter so I can see what I'm doing. I hope I don't glare you too much. On the top there is a seal. It's like this has never been opened before. Can you open it without breaking the seal? Let's not, no, you can't. It breaks the seal. Anyway, product of Scotland, naturally. Established 1897. This is the Altmore of the Foggy Moss. Speyside single malt, Scotch whiskey aged 12 years. Now I have to get, oh, there's the bottle of the Altmore 12, Foggy Moss. Okay. Let's pour us a dram before we read all the stuff that's on the label and all the stuff that's on the, uh, on the bottle. And this has a seal on it too. If you can see that, and if I can get the plastic wrapping, uh, it's around the seal off. This may be a challenge. Oh wait, I see a perforated thing here. Maybe if I grab that the right way, it will take the plastic off, and then I can get at the cork, and then I can. Okay, the plastic seal. We're big on plastic seals here. Okay, I got rid of that. There's the plastic. And here is the cork. Oh, there's a number on it too. I don't know what the number means. Let's see. And. Altmore Distillery, Moray, Scotland, and a number, I guess it's a postal code or something. And on the side it says here, number 175972. Unique bottle. <laughs> Unique bottle. Number 175972. So 175,972, that's the bottle number. It's the only one of its kind. <laughs> that is funny. Let's give this cork a pop. Yeah. So it's 12 year old space side. It looks quite pale for a 12 year old space side, unless it was exclusively aged in bourbon, ex-bourbon barrels. And what does it say on here? While this sits there and opens up. Ah! Ah, oh, 
it's got a classic bourbon barrel kind of nose to it. I'm getting initially some caramel, bit of vanilla. Let it open up. Let's see what it says on here. So age 12 years. Often veiled in obscuring mist from the foggy moss, this distillery has long been shrouded in mystery, yet its whiskey's exceptional smoothness reveals why industry insiders accorded it a rare top-class status, and why the dram of locals and bucky fishermen has been a secret savored for over a hundred winters. 46% alcohol by volume. The Altmore Distillery Company, Bucky Road, Scotland. Founder Edward, Alexander Edward is the founder. There is his, and 750 mils. There's some kind of seal on here. I can't read it. What does it say on the back? Altmore, Speyside, single malt, Scotch whiskey, aged 12 years, a secluded site. Oh, here comes the poetry. Once known for smugglers and illicit stills, the foggy moss conceals our water's source and filters it through gorse and heather, purifying it to the product, to the profit of Altmore's refined character. Our malted barley has no hint of peat smoke ensuring the smoothest, cleanest taste. Well, that's true. I'm not getting any peat out of this at all. None. Well, let's let it open up some more. And flip this back on because it flipped itself off. Okay. Let's continue with our story. This rarest of Speyside classics has been distilled in handmade copper pot stills since 1897, yet for over a century it was only sold in limited editions aimed at collectors. Sometimes a sly taste of Altmore could be found in a few local bars, but only if you know to ask for a nip of the Bucky Road. Natural color. Takes its color from our cask's wood, so slightly varied hues are normal. Oh, this is good. Non-chill filtering. We don't chill filter our whiskey. Feel free to add ice and don't worry if it goes cloudy. Okay. Return for refund where applicable. Enjoy responsibly, altmore.com. And I imagine it says exactly the same thing on the bottle itself. On bottle number 17, whatever I said before. Oh my gosh, this is fine, fine print, fine print. Really fine print. Oh, I can. Often veiled in obscuring mist from the foggy moss. Oh, yeah, the 100 winters part. Yeah, I've read that before. Anyway, it's 46% alcohol by volume. It's 750 mils. It's a nice bottle. Oh, they've got what looks like to be tasting notes or something on the back. Oh yeah, okay, natural culture. I have done, yeah. It says the same poetry on the bottle as it does on the tube. Okay, let's see if we can get anything out of this. Hmm.
I'm getting some caramel and some vanilla. It's quite subtle. I'm thinking this might need some water to open up. Did I mention that it's 46% 40, alcohol by volume? Let's see. No, this is... Uh... Oh, here it comes. Ah, you got to pull in a bit of an alcohol burn. I don't know, is it me today that I'm getting alcohol burn? Or is it the whiskey? Okay. I'm getting some of that typical American white oak. Notes of caramel and vanilla. Ah, now that I take a big pull on it, yeah. Caramel vanilla. You gotta wait a while for this to open up though. Let's taste it neat and then see what happens. Oh, salty, cleanse that palate. Okay, do it again. What kind of a nose do I get now that I've tasted some of it? It's a subtle one. Very subtle. Tiny little bit of alcohol burn. This one's changing, it's elusive. You gotta really inhale. And then you get bourbon bourbon barrels, that kind of slightly sourness that I get from bourbon barrels anyway. If you really pull caramel and a bit of vanilla and it taste again, Very gentle and smooth. With some sweetness in the aftertaste. That's sort of a caramel sweetness, but it's not, it's really understated. It's really subtle. It's there, but it's subtle. Maybe a hint of chocolate on the end bit of bitterness, bitter, just a little bit of bitterness with the hint of chocolate, but it's very, just a hint. I'm going to add some water to this because I think it needs to open up. You know, there are others that have, that are known to be gentle. Other whiskeys that are known to be gentle, but they have more flavor. Maybe this needs to oxidize a little bit. I really don't know. Okay. Now I'm getting a little more. With the addition of water, it seems to be bringing the caramel out. Mm. 
more caramel, a little bit of toffee. Not getting so much vanilla. Did they use really old bourbon cask? It doesn't say first fill, it just says X bourbon. I don't know. You gotta really dig to get the nose out of it. And the flavor. For something that's bottled at 46% alcohol by volume, the flavor is exceedingly light. Now I'm getting a very subtle hint of liquor, well, quite a bit of licorice. Okay, this is another one of those chameleon type malts that changes as you go. I did notice it was salty before, now it's licorice. Is it doing what the Powers Irish whiskey did and brought out that licorice when I added water to it? Let's find out. See if I give it just a little bit more water. Will that wreck it? Or will it be able to take that water? Um, looks like some scotch mist in there. It's non-chill filtered after all. Very, very subtle. It's a little less salty. I've put two, two spoons of water in it. I'm still getting that, that black licorice, but it's, it's subtle. Everything about this whiskey. Yes. Now I'm tasting more. I'm tasting black licorice. I'm tasting toffee. I'm tasting caramel. I'm getting just a little bit of vanilla. But it's all subtle. It's very subtle. You've got to really concentrate to get what you want out of this whiskey. Are there tasting notes? No. But if you don't persevere, you won't taste much here. You have to really, really concentrate and dig on it to get the flavor out of this thing. Yeah, they used old barrels, old refill and refill and refill ex-bourbon barrels.
and you know, just like the caramel and the toffee and the vanilla, it's still mouthwatering. But just like all of those ingredients or all of those components are very subtle, now at the very end, there's a bitterness as well, but the bitterness is also quite subtle. This could have used more time in the barrel. It didn't need more ABV. It just needed more time in the barrel, or it could have used fresher barrels. I personally like my whiskeys to have a bolder flavor. This is subtle in every way. Subtle, subtle, subtle. This is about the most subtle single malt scotch I've ever tried. And I have tasted a lot of them, but this is so... You have to really... Really work hard to get any flavor out of this thing. What did I pay? Okay. It says $75.95. And with all taxes, it was $87.39. You know, there are better... Um, value for your money whiskeys out there. I understand it's a small distillery, but it's like you can get whiskey that costs $30 less a bottle, or even $40, excuse me, or even $40 less a bottle. And it would have more rewarding flavors to it. This is rather on the weak side. I don't know what will happen as the bottle, as the contents oxidize some more. Will it take on more flavor? Will it become somehow more rewarding? With this one, you have to work hard to get your your reward. Hmm. We'll see if I like it later on. But so far, it's so subtle. Some would say smooth, smooth, smooth. But there is that nagging bitterness at the end. Definitely old, reused barrels. Anyways. Eslancha on the last few drops that are left on this one. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. <laughs> <laughs>